Hello everyone here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Nilkin Magic Disk 4. This is a Qi-enabled wireless charger, which in and of itself isn't something terribly exciting, but Nilkin has produced one of the most unique and pretty looking series of wireless chargers that I've personally come across and just wanted to share in this video. So all of their Magic Disk series are made out of very premium materials, and in this case it's tempered as well as frosted glass, both on the front and on the back. And the reason why it's made out of glass is because there's actually an integrated LED light where you can customize the color, and it can also give you a quick notification of whether the phone is charging, whether it's complete, as well as acting as a mood lamp in the background. So it's very cool in terms of its design and its simplicity. It retails for about $25, which also isn't too bad considering it supports a quick charge as a wireless Qi charger, so it's going to be great for the iPhone X, for some older Nokia phones, for Galaxy phones, things like that, and should improve on the rate of charging compared to previous iterations of these wireless chargers I've been seeing on the market. So here's what the back of the packaging looks like. It comes in multiple colors. We have the white version of this charger, which is the limited edition version, and if we just open this up, we should have a instruction manual it looks like right on top that's printed in full color below that is the wireless charger itself which again is very pretty to look at we'll take a closer look in a second there's also a warranty card printed in chinese and below here we have the cable or the cord that's simply using uh, my micro usb to be plugged into any standard usb socket and we also have the Nilkin logo on the other side as well so it doesn't come with a power plug in the box uh, perhaps to cut down on costs a little bit more but that is essentially everything in the packaging. So taking a look at the design of the Magic Disk 4, uh, it's, dis it's different from the Magic Disk 3, which is actually still being sold on sites like Amazon and Gearbest, because the 3 series uh, was made out of leather and synthetic fabric materials, so it had a softer texture compared to the 4 series, which again has that tempered glass finish as well as this LED light ring that seems a little bit more futuristic, but they both support quick charging capabilities. Otherwise, we also have a very delicate kind of logoing going on underneath the glass here. We also have a plus logo just to indicate where you should rest your phone on. I guess one potential downside of having a glass surface, even though it is very attractive looking, is it's a bit more slick than the past version. So there is potential for the phone to slide around a little bit more easily on the surface unless you have a case installed, uh, which it should still charge through. The side here is made out of a polycarbonate frame. Uh, seems, like, seems like there's a simple switch on the side to turn it on. There's a micro USB port for power. And on the back, there's also ventilation grills that prevents overheating along with a rubber seal that prevents the disc from sliding around. As a quick comparison, here are two other wireless Qi chargers. This one's actually more of a power bank unit, but it has about the same dimensions and shape as a regular charging pad as well. So you can see the size here. About the same, but the contact part is actually smaller in terms of surface area compared to the Magic Disc. And here is a conventional kind of stand style uh, that's also kind of popular. It's a little bit less expensive and also has a functionality of holding your phone at an elevated angle. So if you're watching media or uh, let's say playing back a video, it might be slightly more useful. We plug the charger into power and you can see the LED lights have already popped onto life and it's a white color by default. You see a little bit flickering on the camera but it's only because of a refresh rate with the frame rate on the camera that we're using. You don't actually see it in person, it's a stable light. And you can tell that again in a darkroom environment it does actually is a pretty cool effect but not only that, it makes it a lot easier to locate the charger in the dark. So if it's by your nightstand and you're coming into bed at night and you want to charge your phone, you can just simply pop it onto the stand and charging should begin automatically which is nice. Other Otherwise, if we try tapping on the button that we saw previously on the edge here, uh, what that happens is it changes the color of the light, so now it's going to be an oscillating color that slowly strobes through uh, all the RGB patterns that it can produce in a rainbow-like effect, which is also pretty cool. If we turn the lights off completely now, you can tell that this is what it looks like in the dark. And uh, tapping on it once more will turn it completely off if you want to conserve on battery, even though it's, it will still work as a charger. Tap on it once more and it goes back to the white light. So those are the three modes that you can select from. It's also a smart charger in the sense it's not going to overheat or overcharge your phone. So once battery reaches 100%, it will of course shut off and then prevent your battery from continuously being charged overnight. So I've rested a phone onto the charger right now without a case on. You can see that it's begin charging almost automatically. There's actually two ways of seeing this, by the LED lights that you have on the phone, as well as on this bluish color that is actually on the stand 
uh, or the magic pad itself. So you can see here that it's going to be continuous bl continuously blue when there is a Qi contact that's been activated and when the battery is being charged. Once it reaches full capacity, the blue color will actually change. It will stop turning this color and it will turn off for a few minutes before going back into that RGB lightly strobing pattern depending on how you set it up. And now a test with the Samsung Galaxy with a case installed. We're just going to rest it onto the pad here and you can see that charging has started and it will again continue charging until battery reaches full capacity. So when it comes to charging rates and performance in my quick testing so far, it does seem to be a lot faster than older and previous versions of uh, Qi chargers in the market, especially if you have a compatible quick charger wall plug uh, and it supports uh, 5 volt 3 amps and it will actually charge up most Android phones that I've tested in under two hours. Like a wired quick charger, it can also very quickly juice up the battery in around 30 minutes. You're not going to get a complete charge, but you will get around 50% charge. So that's quite impressive considering, again, there's no wires being plugged in directly. During the charging process, the mat does get slightly warm, uh, or I should say the phone gets slightly warm. But again, a benefit of using glass is that it dissipates heat very quickly. And as a result, it still remains fairly cool in temperature, even without the presence of an active fan which uh, Samsung likes to implement in their wireless quick chargers. They always have an extra fan that uh, draws more power, but it's not necessary on this model because instead of plastic, they're using glass. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Nilkin Magic Disk 4 is concerned. Overall, this is definitely one of the most attractive and beautiful looking wireless chargers that you can find on the market. The concept of a Qi charger in and of itself, as aforementioned, isn't terribly exciting. In fact, it's rather boring, but I think that Nilkin were able to make a pretty standard accessory unique just thanks to the material choice as well as the elegant uh, hardware design that they implemented as well as the fact that it just works very well in terms of performance, charging rates, uh, as well as the surface area of the mat in general. So if you like what you see here, this would make definitely a nice addition to any bedside table, to any desk, maybe even the car if you plug it into the power socket. You can check it out in the links down below. Thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews. This has been our hands-on review of the Nilkin Magic Disc 4 Wireless Qi Charger.